So what is swap? Spark is called uh, Apache Spark. So it is a fast and general cluster computing system. It is interoperable with the Hadoop system, which is an um, older version of a computing system for big data. And Apache Spark improved efficiency through in-memory computing primitives. And uh, it uh, do computing using general computation graphs. And uh, it also improves the usability through rich API in Scala, Java, and Python. And it provides interactive shell to analyze big data. It has been shown that the in-memory computing can improve the speed by up to 100 times. And uh, even if on disk, it can improve two to 10 times. And uh, the improved usability has been shown to lead to two to five times less code for the same task. Let us look at the Spark model. So in Spark, we write programs in terms of transformations on distributed data sets. Okay? So transformations on distributed data sets which is called the resilient distributed data sets or RDD, okay? So Spark works on RDD and uh, use transformations to process RDDs. So RDDs are collections of objects that can be stored in memory or disk across a cluster of many machines. And uh, they have many parallel functional transformations, such as map, filter, and so uh, etc. And uh, RDD can be automatically rebuilt on failure. That's why we call it resilient. And Spark is great for data science. And uh, since version 2.0, Spark has been focusing on data frames, where we can basically extract data frames from various data sources from CSV, JSON, and uh, XML and so on. We can create data frames in Spark. And data frames are basically structured data. And uh, then we can use many SQL functionality to process this structured data. And uh, data frames has familiar APIs built based on R and Python pandas. And uh, they are distributed and has an optimized implementation. And uh, Spark also provides machine learning pipelines, which we will study um, in more details in the later weeks. So these pipelines provide simple construction and tuning of machine learning workflows. So in a Spark computing framework, we do the programming abstraction and also parallel runtime to hide the complexity 
of the fault tolerance and uh, slow machines. So basically, when we use Spark, the user just need to see here is an operation, run it on all of the data. Basically, just do it. And I don't care where it runs. Right? So the Spark will schedule it and manage it, basically. And uh, in fact, feel free to run it twice on different nodes. For example, when it fails on some of the nodes. And this is a nice picture of the Spark ecosystem. This was an earlier picture. And uh, at that time, it says the contributors grows from 150 to 500. Now, if you go to the Spark homepage on GitHub, you can see it's more than more than 1,500 1, total contributors. Right? So data free and the, the machine learning pipeline are the key for Spark. And uh, Spark was written in Scala, which is based on Java. But in this module, we will teach you PySpark based on Python. And uh, it is also available for R. It basically can process different kinds of data sources. And this module will focus on Spark, SQL, and uh, the machine learning library. So let us look at the components of Spark. So here is a nice picture. And when we write an application, we write a driver program, right? So a Spark program will first create a Spark session object, right? So that is the first step is to create a Spark session object, which include a Spark context. So this will be the driver and the context the Spark context will tell Spark how and where to access a cluster. And uh, it will also connect to cluster managers. Okay? And then these cluster managers will allocate the resources across different applications to many worker nodes. Okay? So these are the, the worker nodes are the Spark executor. Okay? So they are the ones actually doing the work. They actually run the computations and actually access the data storage for data. So Spark session and Spark context is essential in Spark. Spark session is an, the, the entry point for data frame and also data set API, they are related. And uh, Spark session basically creates data frames. And uh, if, you, if we start a PySpark shell, it will automatically create a Spark session as Spark. And you will notice in the lab, but if you write programs, you must first create a new Spark session first. And uh, Spark context is the, the entry point for main Spark functionalities. And it will create the RDDs, resilient distributed data set. And Spark context connect to a Spark cluster, as we see in the previous slide. And uh, each Spark context now nowadays is associated with a Spark session. So it is a property 
of the Spark session if you look at the API. Therefore, when we start a PySpark shell, it will automatically create a Spark context as SC. And if you are writing programs, then you can get S as a Spark context as a property of the Spark session, Spark. And there's another important parameter called master when we create a Spark session object. So this parameter determines the cluster type and size. Because we have about 100 students, so in this, mo in this module, we will primarily use the master parameter as local, right? so basically local or local K. So that is to run Spark locally with one worker thread, no parallel, uh, parallelism. This is, this is discouraged, right? So we don't use that typically. And typically we will spec specify a K, either to be two, four, or 16 or more, right? eight or something like that. This means we will run Spark locally with K worker threads, right? So typically it will be the number of cores. And if you finish your MSC and go out to companies, right? So they will have, they may have their own like cluster system such as Spark, Mesos and so on, right? So you just need to change the parameter master, right? So into the respective clusters. And uh, you do need to make changes to other part of the program because Spark will handle it for you. So that gave you uh, an introduction of the essentials of Spark. In the following, we will go through an example of using Spark to do log mining.